Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the quick update over at the Bakhmut front. At the Bakhmut city, uh, latest development uh, where there is Russian forces uh, recapturing uh, this area here at the industrial area. So the Russian forces push and the Ukrainians uh, have to fall back. No, they have to fall back. And and when the Ukrainians were actually you no know, retreating, the Russians have actually pushed uh, un unexpectedly, in, in my opinion, into the eastern outskirt or e not outskirt, but eastern residential part of the uh, Bakhmut city. And the Ukrainians actually seems to have been caught by surprise um, as they retreat a little bit and then manage to hold the Russians after around three streets into uh Bakhmut and this comes while the Russians actually were attacking over in the northern area here at Perhorotne where the where the Russians have been pushing uh very strongly the area here is being fought by the Wagner group and uh, these forces over here is actually the Russian forces and the Donetsk People's Republic forces. This is the first time in uh, pre pretty much a long time where we see uh, Russian forces fighting over at the Bakhmut front. Previously, uh, this entire front has been uh, seemingly in charge by the Wagner group. So with the Russian forces entering the fray, which means that the uh, they have been reinforced. Uh, the Wagner group here has been reinforced. Maybe that means the Russian forces has actually increased over in this region uh, which means the Ukrainians are actually uh, facing more troops, more enemies at this time. And uh, in yesterday's seed rap, we also mentioned that there is fighting over here in the forested area, which means the Russians are also pushing into this forested region here. And this is looking uh, rather serious. And with this situation, uh, the Ukrainians actually blew up, uh, uh, blew up a bridge over here. This bridge, it's interesting because this bridge is actually a railway bridge uh, uh, from from Proskovievka moving over into Bakhmut city and this bridge is actually a, a overhead bridge over a highway and with the destruction of bridge the bridge actually fall onto the highway blocking uh, this this route here this, this road which the Russians could use to the Russians could actually use to you know attack towards Slovians or actually move to the rear of Paraskovievka or to the rear of uh, Yahine. However, this is uh, broken because uh, the bridge was destroyed. And reinforcement has arrived at, over at Paraskovievka and uh, probably from Slovian's region and uh, from Slovian's direction, uh, this reinforcement over here, if I didn't remember wrongly, comes from uh, Kherson region, and uh, reinforcement has also previously uh, have been reported uh, moving into Bakhmut and um, also towards uh, Opaine. Uh, the situation at Opaine is also very bad. The Russian forces have been uh, attacking Opaine uh, very strongly for some time already, and uh, they have already. Uh, taken the entire region here, which is on the southeastern outskirt of Bakhmut, which means, uh, which in this region here, the Russians is actually already on the outskirt of the residential or the city area of Bakhmut city, and this push, uh, is defended by the Ukrainian forces. Uh, the Russians did not, still have not broke through just yet, but with the, this breakthrough over on the eastern side, uh. This may threaten the lines over at the southeastern outskirt of Bakhmut city. So in case you guys are a bit lost uh, in terms of direction, look at this. Uh, this is north. So, so the there's a river over here. So which is why uh, this river over here means that the Russians uh, are unlikely to just uh, pass through here. So which is why the fighting is actually you know, in this direction. And actually, in this and moving south at Opaini region, and um, the 
uh, the forested area here this is also very important for the ukrainians to hold they are actually you know uh need to hold the defense to prevent uh yet another uh major breakthrough by the russians uh to you no know, stretch the ukrainian forces further Pre previously the fighting is only on the eastern outskirts over here and uh or the eastern industrial area over here and the fighting uh, fr from the southeast is actually pretty far away previously there was fighting uh over at the bakhmut oxford plant region so now is the ukrainians have already fall fallen back all the way to the to the outskirts as the russians continue to push and uh now we can actually see for the first time uh that the Bakhmut city is actually getting pressured and we we're not too sure you know what is the situation between Pihorotne and the forested area here would the russians actually you know go into the northern part here uh not sure yet this one is still a question mark uh should this happen then Pihorotne will actually be cut off from Bakhmut city and uh this will separate become a separate uh battle zone and in if that's the case then uh it will be pretty hard for the ukrainians to actually hold this position um so let me draw some of the defenses here first uh so there there is also blahodatny over here then paraskovievka so there is some uh layer layers of uh forces that the russians might have to go through uh so this is the current situation over at the Bakhmut city region and uh, as per I mentioned in the previous updates that the, the Russians is actually trying to do the pincer around the city and uh, but with this penetration uh, this might actually pressure the Ukrainians to decide whether they want to retreat or maybe this is just a diversionary attempt with the Russians trying to encircle because if they penetrate into the center the ukrainians will have to pull their forces inwards to help to defend the city they have to push inwards to help to you know con concentrate more forces uh, over in this line here over at this uh, over in this line here so should the ukrainians actually pull in then they will actually leave lesser forces over on the out outskirts which then the russians may actually do the encirclement so uh it's a very hard decision for the ukrainians to decide you know what they should do because spreading it spreading out your forces uh might not might not also be a good idea the my gut feeling is that the ukrainians do not have numerical advantage over bakhmut city anymore so uh it's probably going to be very hard uh for the ukrainians to actually hold up and uh anyway this is just a quick update uh hope hope this be is helpful to you and i'll see you in the next update.